Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky and for those of you guys that are new, teaching you witchcraft is what I do. Now for those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. I hope you guys are getting ready to kick off the new year, that you are excited, putting the energy out there of abundance, prosperity and success and health above all. Wishing you guys the very best in these holidays and as promised, I told you guys all on my Instagram that I will be uploading tons of spell videos to prepare you for the new year. And here we are. Now this spell is to bring abundance, success, and prosperity to your home. Now there's been this um, conversation with my Instagram followers about protection spells as well as wards. Not sure if you guys know what that is, but it is another form of defense magic to protect yourself, um, your home, your place, your location, or even your person or your name uh, that keeps you protected. But also wards serve as whenever someone throws something at you, it is able to catch it and you will definitely find out about it. And that is something that all witches in the practice keep in place. Now we are going to be loading tons of new videos, spell videos for that. But for now, let's get into it. This is, like I said, a abundance spell. This is going to be um, to start off the new year to also make sure that your home or where you're living at um, is nothing but peace and harmony, as well as removing any blockages that you currently may be experiencing regarding finances. So it is very simplistic. It is a few steps. Uh, so we're going to deep dive into it and tell you exactly how to go about it. Now, ingredients. You're going to be needing some of these little bell trinkets that we use. Um, anything that has to do with hangings, which is what we're going to be using today. Um, these are very, very prominent and very um, amazing. Why? Because that noise, right? The noise um, serves as warnings but they also serve as um uh protection and it also serves as um very auspicious you know depending on uh the more you work with these the more you get to get familiar with them etc but they are amazing when it comes to drawing in uh success or any type of that you're trying to draw into your life they are amazing for that we're also going to be needing some of these coins you can get these on uh, many different sites. You can get them on Amazon as well. You're going to be needing some scissors. You're going to be needing three sticks of cinnamon. You're going to be needing some uh, Siete Machos cologne and some Fast Luck oil. Now, um, if you don't have Fast Luck oil, um, I would highly encourage you guys to go out of your way to get it. Understand and know that when I tell you the ingredients, specific ingredients that go into spell work, um, sometimes, you know, spell work can be forgiving, uh, and we're able to use whatever it is that we have at our disposal. However, there are ingredients that are necessary only because it facilitates and it quickens the pace and it gives you faster, quicker results. So highly encourage you guys to get fast, uh, luck oil. And we're also going to be needing some parchment paper. You're going to be needing specifically for this spell, a yellow marker and a black marker. Now you're also going to be needing some red yarn, um, very important. And like I said, uh, this is collectively a spell to bring abundance, prosperity, uh, success into your home and to everyone that lives in it. Um, so let's get into it and I will take you guys step by step. So we're going to start off here firstly with your, oh, I forgot to mention, you're also going to be needing some Jade Ancestral Money. Um, you can find these anywhere. You can find these at any botanical shop. You can order them online or uh, you can purchase them on my online store as well. Um, so you are going to be needing that as well. All right, so we're going to start off here with the parchment paper first, which is the petition. You're going to write down your first name, last name, and date of birth in the parchment paper. Now, if you, as an example, if you work from home, um, this is amazing to do as it's going to bring you a lot of business, a lot of, a lot of clientele. Um, but obviously, some of us, you know, that work from home, 
we work or we live with other people, right? With family, our loved ones, our kids, etc. So if they are not above the age of 18, um, do not integrate them in the spell work. However, if you have that 21 year old son or that 18 year old daughter in your home, you can incorporate them into this spell as it's going to, like I said, help them facilitate when it when we're talking about finances and when we're talking about career. Um, so what you want to do is you want to put down your first and last name and date of birth. Now, if you have multiple people in your home that are above the age of 18, you want to also incorporate their first name. As an example, um, you would put your son's first and last name and date of birth. Your husband, first and last and date of birth. All right, so you just go down, um, writing down everyone's first name, last name and date of birth, everyone that lives in your home that is um, above the age of 18. So we're going to put it like this. It is your first name, last name, date of birth, and then your son's first name, last name, date of birth or daughter, and your husband's information as well. Now, why do we want to do this collectively? Because this is going to go either in the entrance of your home or, um, or I should say it, this is going to go by the doorknob of your home or the entrance of your home. You have either one to choose from. You can put it at the very entrance or you can put it at the doorknob of your home. And obviously they go in and out of your home. So when we do spell work where we're incorporating multiple people and they are aware of this abundance spell, right? What happens is that the energy everyone's energy synchronizes therefore um it, pre it it creates a more powerful dynamic within the spell work that is taking place also because it's your bloodline um it just amplifies it's kind of like you know the reason why we have covens um more than two three people um that's how we raise energy that's how you have multiple people focusing on the same outcome or on the same goal, it's going to really empower and really strengthen um, the spell work, the results, um, and the success of the ritual that's taking place, okay? All right, so once you're done with that, once you've put your information and everyone else's information, um, now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it to the right. So it's like this, you're going to turn it to the right. And with the yellow marker, you're going to write down exactly what you're wanting when we're talking about this abundance spell. So as an example, if you are doing this for yourself, for your husband and for your son, as an example, then you would put uh, one primary, primarily goal that you're trying to achieve then your husband's going to write down their um, specific goal or intention. Then your son or your daughter is going to do the same. Um, so it is basically a petition for everyone in the home, everyone that is incorporating or being incorporated in this spell. So as an example, uh, if I'm doing this for myself, I would put um, success in all my business endeavors. And then I'm going to give the marker to my son as an example, and he will write down his petition as an example. Um, financial stability. Then I'm going to give it to my husband as an example, and um, he's going to put, um, let's see, success and he wants to be specific. <laughs> let's just say, so he's putting success and, um, as an example, um, 
let's just say as an example, 20,000 a month. Okay. Um, you can put anything that has to do with money here, you guys. You can put, as an example, if you're trying to get a house, you would put um, 2023 is the year that I pur purchased my first home. If you're trying to get a car, uh, 2023 is um, the year that I get the make and model of the car that you're trying to get or whatever. The more specific, the better it is. So once that is done and once everybody has written down exactly what it is that they want to achieve, what's going to happen now is you're going to pass, first you're going to do this for yourself. You're going to pass the parchment paper in your hands and really put energy, effort, your focus on this. Very important, you guys, to ground yourself, meditate before doing this type of work. Like I've mentioned to you guys, um, grounding yourself is very important for the focus in spell work. So you're going to do this. You're going to pass it all around your hands. Really put the energy and effort. Then you're going to give it to your son. You're going to have him rub the parchment paper in his hands. Then the husband. And once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to incorporate. We are going to get the fast luck oil and we're going to dab it in each corner of the parchment paper all right all right so it's going to look like this once that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to roll the paper towards us turn it to the right you're going to fold it in half, turn it to the right, towards you always, and then again, all right, and we're going to leave it like this. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to get the jade paper and we're going to dab some oil, fast luck oil, in each corner of the bill, okay? Okay. And what we're going to do now is we are going to get the parchment paper, as you can see here, and you're going to get your first stick, the first cinnamon stick, and you're going to roll it. You're going to roll the jade paper. All right, and it's going to look something like this. Now what we're going to do here is we are going to get the yarn and we are going to, you want to leave a good amount because what you're going to do is you're going to tie it again to be able to leave a, you're going to want to tie it like this so that you can leave this extra piece for the doorknob, okay? So we're gonna pull it like that, and what I'm gonna do now is we are going to wrap the yarn around the jade paper. And you're just gonna keep wrapping it around Like this. Okay. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to tie a knot. When you're tying the knot, really put your focus and energy on what you're doing. You want to really, you want to really uh, put as much energy and focus into what you're doing. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. 
And like I said, you're leaving that extra so that you can continue making. And then you're going to go again. Okay, what you want to do is you want to try to center it so that it can be straight, okay? Like that, all right? And like I said, you're leaving this because you're going to tie it here so that you can leave a loop so that it can hang, all right? Now we're going to go... with the second, with the second cinnamon stick. What you want to do is you want to drizzle the cinnamon sticks with some Siete Machos cologne. Now you don't need to do that on this one because we've already implemented the Fast Luck oil in that. So you don't need to put the Siete Machos cologne on that for now anyways. So let's do the circle for this at the top first before we continue. So what you're going to do is you're going to get one of the coins here. And you can make this easier, you guys, when you get... What did I say? Okay, so... We're going to put this in there. All right. There you go. And we're going to do, like I said, we're going to tie a knot so that we can leave the loop to be able to hang it from the door all right so it's gonna look like this you guys so we are going to continue on with the second You're going to wrap it all around and make sure to come back to the center because, like I said, we want to make sure that it is centered in a way. <clears throat> Yikes. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate two more of these coins before we tie, whoops, before we tie the other cinnamon stick.
Okay. And now, <clears throat> and now we're going to tie the last cinnamon stick. This is a bit time consuming. Okay, so now we're going to tie it. Okay, and it's going to look something like this, you guys. Whoops. Okay. Like that. Now, we are going to put... the last coins. I think it's easier if I get a needle. And finally, okay, after you put the last coins, we are going to put We're going to put the to lock it in. Okay, you want to make two knots. Like I said, this is the most time consuming part. But after you have done this, it is very simple. I will teach you the prayer. And we're ready to we're ready to start. All right. So once that is done, it's going to look like this. And we are going to tie it to the very bottom. And this is also an excellent way to set your mind to it's like a trigger. It's a trigger on a subconscious level. Every time someone opens the door and you hear that you hear that little that little ring, it's money coming to you. 
it is what we it is what we call um, it's what we call triggering this is so hard you guys because of my nails <laughs> It's how you mentally train your mind um, of expectancy. And like I said, it serves as a triggering signal to your brain. Um, every time someone opens the door or closes the door, you hear the little ring and you will automatically connect that to abundance, to success, to money coming your way. All right, so once that is done, my lovelies, it's going to, it's going to look like this, okay? And this is what you're going to hang outside your door, outside the doorknob, or in the entrance of your home. Let me cut it. Sorry, you guys. All right, so once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to charge it. And we are going to empower it. And we are going to get ready to receive all those blessings, all that excitement. <laughs> All of that prosperity, you guys. Okay. So let me put this to the side really quick. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a little bit of the fast acting oil. And we're going to tap every corner of the cinnamon sticks. And the reason for it is because this is actually empowered and strengthened with the Apostles' Creed that we're going to recite to empower it. All right, so once that is done, let me move this to the side and it is going to look like this. All right. <clears throat> it is ready. Now what we're going to do is we are going to recite the Apostles' Creed this is to empower it. This is to prepare it for use. And the thing about this is that it's very important. Um, this is obviously for abundant success, um, but this can also serve as a good luck gambling charm. So it basically opens the doors to any way of making money. <clears throat> now we're going to recite. You're going to put your right hand or your prominent hand um, over the cinnamon sticks and you're going to recite the Apostles Creed backwards so it's gonna start amen everlasting life the end body the of resurrection the sins of forgiveness the saints of communion the church Catholic holy the spirit holy the in believe I dead the and living the judge to come will he and father the of hand right the as seated is he heaven into ascendant he again rose he lie day Third, the on, dead, the to, 
descendant he buried was and dead awful I mean crucified sorry not awful <clears throat> crucified was plate Pontius under suffered Mary virgin the of born spirit holy the by conceived was he Lord our son only God's Christ Jesus in belief I earth and heaven of creator almighty father the God in belief I all right so once you have recited that by the way for those of you guys that don't know I will probably put the um the Apostles Creed backwards on the description box below um it is very empowering this is very powerful you guys um and like I said you guys know that in a lot of my work I incorporate a lot of Psalms a lot of things that really enhance and empower the workings that are being done now lastly what you're going to do is you can get any type of incense that would be money incense as an example patchouli um, as an example um, dragon's blood for being in control um, tobacco incense anything like that or if you because you guys know that I work with my Saint Simon I'm going to be lighting his cigar so give me a second So what you want to do is inhale some of the cigar and blow it out to the uh, cinnamon sticks. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate, I empower, strengthen. All right, my lovelies, after that has been done, like I said, you are going to pass the incense or if you're using the cigar, you will inhale the cigar um, and blow it out to the cinnamon sticks. Once that has been done, it is set. It is ready to go. So what you're going to do is, again, you can put this at the very entrance of your home. You can put this at um, in the outside in the doorknob or uh, if you work from home like myself, I put it in the doorknob of my office. So um, like I said, this is amazing. You guys are going to get amazing results. Um, you are definitely going to start to notice opportunities come your way and a lot of doors open up, even doors that you never thought were there. Like I said, it is not only for fast abundance, success, um, wealth, uh, and for business growth but it also serves as a gambling amulet as well because we want to make sure that we open all the doors to all possibilities uh, that come hand in hand with money so my lovelies if you guys try this definitely let me know if you do do this i highly encourage you guys to do this at the end of the year you can do it any time frame as long as it's from waxing to full moon but ideally you want to do this in the beginning of the year um for those of you guys that know and have been coming uh, to get consultations from me, you guys know that at the entrance I have all kind of stuff. And every year I uh, redo this because you want to empower, you want to strengthen. And um, like I said, you will definitely see a major impact of growth in your business, in your finances, and opportunities that come your way. Um, Anyways, I wish you guys the very best. If you do try it, definitely come back, comment below, let us know what was your experience. I want to wish you the very best. Happy holidays to all of you. And stay tuned. We have tons of new spell videos coming up. Bye-bye.